Hey guys, it's General Hans here, and today we are going to be ranking and tier listing all the sets of armor for Helldivers 2 up until about March 18th, March 19th. Alright, we will be listing these not based off of perks, just pure swag, pure aesthetic. Um, and we have a, a, a unique tier list here. That's my YouTube recommendations. And we have a unique tier list here. Um, so, Super Earth, Helldiver, SEAF, Crew, and Super Citizen. So we'll be ranking them based off of those criteria. <coughs> and uh, let's just hop into it. Now, the pictures are small, so I've got photos up. So we can also look at that while doing this. Alrighty, let's begin. Our basic Helldiver uniform. Absolutely Super Earth tier. It is just too iconic and too swag looking for it not to be in Super Earth tier. Fantastic. Alright, the next one is the same armor but with less yellow. Gotta be honest, I'm not a big fan of that. It needs more yellow for sure. It's a little doomer for the Hell Divers. So, although Doomer can be a vibe for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. How much of a vibe is it not though? Is it Hell Diver still? Or is it SEAF? I'm gonna be risky, be a little controversial. I'm putting it in SEAF. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me see if I can find it now. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Next, we have another standard armor with more yellow. I love the yellow. That's just straight fire. That's definitely super earth tier right there. Now, the next one is going to be even more swag. It's this one. It's got the yellow down the top like a, like a phase one clone commander. It's got yellow on the chest, on the arms. It's just oh, super swag. We're absolutely putting that in Super Earth tier as well. I know a lot of these are going to probably be more positive than negative. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm jumping the gun here. We'll find out. All right. This one. I believe this is one of the pre-order ones. Uh, it is cool. It is badass. It's not my vibe. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dive into a planet with that on. But it is super cool. It is a vibe. It is red like automatons, so. though. Hmm. I guess we'll have to say that this one is going to be Helldive or Super Earth? Super Earth. Yeah. Super Earth Special Forces. Or, or Assault Forces Special Forces tier. <coughs> we'll just call it SEAF. We'll just go with that. Alrighty. And then, so, next one is the blue and the white now that is clean it is good looking but i feel like it's more like hi i'm with super earth broadcasting ministry of truth rather than i'm a hell diver you know like it's it's more looks like the press than it does a hell diver so uh, for that reason it's going in super citizen yeah and next we have a uh, one of the other the last pre-order skin i believe it is cool the blue complements it better here with the white. Um, but is it... Where Where is it on the list? Mm, I like it. I don't love it. Um, Helldiver or SEAF? It's similar to the dungeon. I keep wanting to call him Dungeon Master for some reason. Um, it's cool and it's an aesthetic, but I don't know if it's Helldiver. This one I've got mixed feelings about. Sometimes I really think that's cool. Other times I think it's too much. Um, although the the wings on the helmet do remind me of the wing of Hazars, which is pretty cool. And I like that like gray, not exactly monotone. There's some divergence in the gray there for sure. With the gold, it's pretty snazzy. I think that's at least a Helldiver tier. It's definitely not a Super Earth tier. Um, I don't feel right putting it in the SEAF tier. So yeah. Alrighty. Next, let's see, let's see. Mm, I think this was a PlayStation. Uh, buying it through PlayStation exclusive. The Commander, the 117 Commander. That is fire. 
that is straight fire. I love it. it's got the ammo packs here, the T-shaped visor, very old Republic esque. The armor is cool. It's such a good combo. Um, I'm definitely putting that in uh, in in Super Earth tier for sure. Alrighty, what else we got going on here? Alrighty, next we have this guy. The helmet's all right. The armor's okay. I get that it's more of like a light armor look <coughs> to it and effect, but I don't know. It's just, I'm just, it's not hitting for me. But I, I don't want to, it's definitely not super citizen. If we use precedent here, it's probably crew. Put it in crew. Next, we got a, another big beefy boy. I love the helmet. The helmet's phenomenal with the, the visor and also the visor. Um, and it's just very Mandalorian-esque in a way. Lots of cool yellow markings. Again, I love the yellow up the top, down the, down the middle. Um, so we'll put that in. Is it going to go Helldiver or Super Earth? That's the question. Hmm. I feel like that's Super Earth. That's that's what it's like telling me. It's like Super Earth managed democracy, and so that's we'll go with that for sure. All right. Next is a, I believe this is the trench engineer. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the coloring. It's okay. The helmet I don't really like. I would probably throw that in. Uh... Yeah, I just feel like it's not on brand for the Hell Divers. Like that coloring but maybe i'm wrong let me know if, what you think in the comments like are my opinions ass backwards are they on point like we'll put this in crew we'll put that one in crew it's okay it's okay all righty this one i like i like that's very clone trooper-esque with the visor the black visor the white armor the green like jumpsuit very cash money very cash money that whole thing that's just a vibe right there but it, the, as cool as the helmet is there are better helmets and we it's a tier list so we gotta i'll put it in hell dive i'll put it in hell dive okay keep going over to go to my discord notification oh my goodness um this one's cool as well is it super earth tier or is it hell dive tier I think it's hell dive tier for sure it's it's cool but maybe a little too much even maybe a little too much this one i like for the exact same reasons i like the other one um but for some reason this isn't screaming super earth tier to me it's more hell dive tier it is very very swag though Mm. Yeah, the 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 shoulder armor on the left side over here. I guess it's left my right. I feel like this is too big, like really big. So yeah, we'll put it in hell dive tier. Although that is straight fire. It is straight fire. The scout class. Okay, the scout class. The armor is really cool. I like the armor. I do not like the helmet. I like the hood. I don't like the helmet, though. I'm not a big fan of the, like, VR-looking, like, no face or, like, teeny little binocular uh, eyepieces. That just doesn't do it for me. And so since I have to rank them together, I... Not hell dive. I'll do SEAF. I'll do SEAF. Okay. This guy, they tried. Then, yeah, that's all I can say. Super Citizen. All right, so this is just like the 117 Commander, but it's different coloring. Here's the thing. That red and the turquoise shouldn't work. But it does. It does. I, I really like the turquoise look. I think that's super cool. Um, the helmet is, all, of course, a vibe. Uh, is it super Earth tier is the question. 
I would want my medic to be dripped out like this. That's what I would want. And I'm pretty sure he's a he's a medic is in the name somewhere or like bone snapper or something. So Oh, hell diver. Super Earth. I'm going to go with Super Earth. I'm just feeling that that's a Super Earth class right there. Do you agree this is the turquoise on point? What do you think? Is it not enough? Or is it too much? I like it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me what you think. Champion of the people. Mm. I love the helmet. The, the color, the white color. Again, very clone trooper-esque. Um, they've done the white well there. I love the visor shape, the T-visor. Um, I think that that's probably a super earth category one. Or is it a hell dive? Hmm. 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 I'm going to put it on hell dive. Controversial, maybe. Um, just because I don't run it a lot like there's definitely better suits of armor in fact i might have put too many in hell dive we might have to retroactively go back and fix that i don't know jumpsuit's great I hate the headset uh it's just too vr-esque it's like you just have a vr visor vr goggles on yeah uh but the the, the jumpsuit is super fire so we'll just throw it in seaf and that's just because the jumpsuit's fire if it was trash it would go to super citizen um the helmet is unique the armor is unique but they're not great not a huge fan of the helmet it's it's just kind of mid low tier mid it's like a bottle of water that you drink at below mid room temperature you know what i mean you're like mm. yeah i mean I, I was thirsty but like really yeah yeah that's not the most swaggiest of them mm -hmm. i'll put that in super citizen yeah it had to be done it had to be done so this one is one of the best suits of armor i think it might be my favorite not only do we have a little visor going on and a little T-shape, but with a little T-shaped visor, right? And the white makes it look like a clone trooper. But that rich blue, that shit is bussin'. That shit is bussin'. That's just so good. That's absolutely Hell Diver tier. No doubts. No doubts. In fact, if I could put it on Super Earth Managed Democracy tier, I would do that. I would do that. In fact, let's put it at the beginning of this list. Can I do that? Can I move it to the front? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. This one, hear me out. Hear me out. Was released with the last one. And this one does kind of look like a battle droid. So I think they were thinking clone troopers and battle droids when they did this one. It totally looks like a B1 battle droid helmet head. Um Although at first I did not like it. Thinking of it as a battle droid definitely boosted it up. So it's going to get it at least an SEAF tier. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Yeah. If it didn't remind me of a battle droid though, it would probably go lower. But it's got that little bit of like, that's what they were going for. I really think that. So that's pretty cool. Mm. W's back to back. W's back to back. So a lot of people say this looks like Master Chief, and I get that. I think it looks more like the 41st Elite Corps on Kashyyyk, um, Revenge of the Sith, and this is my main armor. This is the one I run most of the time. It's absolutely um, Super Earth tier. The visor, the visor, the brown with the green with the bullets on the front. Oh the black boots some good soup that's some good soup absolutely that's good soup we'll put that we'll, we'll even put that second i think the other one's a little bit better though i just don't run it as often but i do think it is better 
Okay, so this one, the armor is nice. The helmet is not. I would say that's crew tier. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, just because it's just like a a blank visor on it, and I, I it's okay. Um, but you know what? No, I'm going to move it up one. A helmet's not that bad. It really isn't. It's a little bit more like a riot shield than it is just the goggles, like the VR goggles. So I'll move it up. Yeah, to SEAF. All right, all right, all right. So this is from the second battle pass, the first premium battle pass. That is pretty cool. Got the robotic arm. Got the little zoomed-in reticle scanner. Still got that classic Hell Divers look with the bandolier. Got some yellow on it for sure. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? It's definitely... We're out of the bottom two for sure. But do we... Did we get up to Helldiver? No, I don't think we got up to Helldiver. I don't think that we did. I don't think that we did. This one. I love the gray, the orange, and the white. Um, and the leg and the arm, the robotic arm. That's really cool. Um, I like that one. I like the visor. It's just super swag. Such a vibe. Such an aesthetic. I think that we have to put it in Helldiver. I think we have to. Part of me wants to put it down here in SEAF, but it definitely... I don't think that's the move. It's just too much of a vibe. Too much of a vibe. This is absolutely super Earth tier. It reminds me of some like Old Republic stuff. A lot of my choices are based off of Star Wars just because I like Star Wars that much. If you couldn't tell. Um, but yeah. The orange and the white... And the visor, the helmet is just unique. I like that. It's really cool. So we'll get and throw that in super earth tier. <sighs> this one's gonna be painful for me. The helmet is super earth tier. Easy super earth tier, because it reminds me of the uh... <laughs> something. And uh, that's swag looking. Uh, the the torso, that's not bad. The pants though, I don't know. The combo of the the orange on the shoulders, with the torso, with the pants and the boots. I don't know how that all vibes up. Like I don't think it's that good. I'd probably give that like a super earth or crew tier. But the helmet's held diver tier. So okay, so we got to do the math here real quick. So, let's say I put it in crew tier, right? Because... Yeah, let's say I put it in crew tier. And the helmet... But the, the armor in crew tier. But the helmet... in super earth tier. So, if we go down one and go up one, we can meet somewhere in the middle. And because the helmet is that much of a swag drip, I'll throw it... But if I compare it to the other Helldivers uniforms I've got in Helldive tier, and then the ones I've got in SEAF, it definitely is SEAF tier. That's painful, but I'll do it. I'll do it. But the helmet is so fire. The helmet is straight fire. All right, next. This is pretty cool. It makes me think of like a cyborg for some reason. I guess that's because the visor. It's pretty beefed up. It's pretty chonky. It's pretty cool, but it's not great. So we'll go ahead and throw that in SEAF tier. Yeah. We'll go ahead and throw that in SEAF tier. This one over here, this one is pretty cool. I like the, the play carrier on it. Uh, the helmet actually isn't that distasteful. It's actually, is I would never run it. I take that back. I was trying to be nice. It can't be nice. Um, the, bot, the the torso is absolutely um, hell diver tier. The helmet is mid, 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 mid. So, I'll go up here. Bring it down one or bring it down two. Mm. I'll break it down one. I'll break it down one because if I look at what's in crew, it's just kind of mid and bin this overall. Whereas this at least something is redeemable in the SEAF tier. Okay, that's a good way to look at it. That's a good way to look at it. 
This guy looks like a badass. He's absolutely a hell diver. 100% he's a hell diver. Is he super earthed here though? Yeah, I feel like like he's like the the solo missioner almost. Like that's the vibe it gives off. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. This one I had to crop these next two photos together because I couldn't find a solid photo of him, uh, and I don't own the suits of armor, um, so I couldn't just go in and take a screenshot of it. But this guy's pretty cool. I actually like him. I'm surprised I don't own him. Um, the blue visor with the white helmet and the white armor and that nice rich blue again. Um, that's just a straight vibe. I think he's probably super earth tier. Like he's Mr. Incredible of the super earth tier. Like everyone's like, there he is. That's just swag. Und mein gosh, mama, it's a superman. Yeah. Yeah. The trench medic. I like the white and the green on the armor. Kind of like the other one. But the helmet is not making moves. The helmet has no motion. And that's crucial to have motion. That's this whole list. It's the motion list of swag. So uh, I got to put him in crude tier. Because I, I do like the armor, like the body and the legs, but it's okay. And it's definitely a better option. So, we'll just put them in crew tier. Alright, we're getting towards the end. We got the three new uh, third battle pass, second premium battle pass uniforms. Um, the helmet's horrible. The armor is fantastic. So, with that being said... I would put him probably in SEAF tier. Yeah, I just really do not like the helmet. This guy is the best one out of the three overall. The helmet's pretty cool. The back part flanges out. Um, the front is okay. I would have definitely done a solid visor instead of the two eyepieces there. That would have made it infinitely better. That would probably would have pushed it up to Super Earth tier. Um, I mean, yeah, Super Earth tier. The armor's pretty, pretty all right. It's not bad. I like that boot look to it with a solid black color that's pretty nice uh but it's it's not held it's it's hell diver tier but it's not super tier just because of the two eye pieces in the front it doesn't it doesn't cut the butter there already and then the last one is this one uh it does have that boot look like i said on the last one the armor is okay it's very similar to the other one uh but the helmet is not the move and considering the other one already has similar armor and the helmet is mid I'm actually gonna throw him in Super Citizen tier. He's not the move. It was an L. But yeah. All right, boys. So we got our list here. Do I want to retroactively do anything? No, I think the Super Earth tiers are solid choices. The Hell Diver tiers, solid choices. Um, you know, the SEAF, it's, it, it's there. Uh, the crew, okay. And Super Citizen, no. You try. There, was, there was an attempt made, and that's what counts. There was an attempt made. So, boys. That's what I got going for us today. Uh, tell me if you think this list is meta, this is swag, this is solid. Or if you think it's ass backwards, donkey garbage, not cash money, but broke boy bitch made. Like, let me know what you think. Because maybe my opinions are trash. They're my opinions. So leave a comment. What would you change? Um, what do you think about this list? Uh, and the new armor. What do you think my new armor look like? Uh, also, give it a like. Give it a dislike if you didn't like the video. And uh, subscribe if you really enjoyed it. And feel free to share it if you are that inclined to do so. That would be pretty swag of you. That would be pretty super earth of you. But um, that's all I got for you right now. Take care. Have a good day.